Hey guys, Richie Castellano here. I want to do a speaking video. I want to say a few things. I don't think I'm going to edit this. Uh, I'm basically going to spew in front of the camera, and uh, be I just want to I just want to talk tonight. Uh, this channel just hit a huge milestone. We reached a hundred thousand subscribers, and I know that that's not really a huge deal in the grand scheme of things. And I'm very aware that there are people who make YouTube channels and then a week later they have 100,000 subscribers or even less than a week. But it, it means a lot to me and I want to thank everyone who took the time to subscribe. I want to thank you so much for this milestone. I think it's pretty cool. So I have some notes here, but I'm going to mostly go off the cuff. Uh, I posted my first YouTube video on December 11th of 2007. That makes this channel just a bit over 15 years old. So it took that long to get to this point. I wasn't serious about the YouTube stuff when I first made my account. I wasn't serious about it until I met Rudy Sarzo. Rudy Sarzo played with Blue Oyster Cult for a few years. And one of the first conversations we ever had, I remember because we were on a bus on the way to a gig, and he, he said, hey, Richie, what's on your YouTube channel? And I said, ah, just a, a few videos of my band. And he said, you're making a mistake. He said, if you don't have a YouTube channel, you don't exist. So I... I took him very seriously, and I started creating more content. The first serious music project I made for this channel was my cover of ABC by the Jackson 5. I did a split-screen cover, and that got a, a, a great response, so that was really encouraging. So I followed that up with a few kind of like low-tech gear demos, some live show clips, some original music, but the first major milestone was when I posted my split-screen Bohemian Rhapsody video, which is my first video to reach a million views. And that was that that really opened a lot of doors up for me and that was the foundation on which I grew this channel to this point. But I had a lot of help. And I want to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to the people who have been helping me with all of this pretty much the whole time. So I have a list of people here and um there's there's a lot uh and if I forgot anybody, I apologize. I just want you to know I love you all. Uh, but I, I really wanted to make sure I acknowledge everybody because I this this takes – making videos, especially on this channel, the way we usually do it with the full band and so or split screens or layered things or, or big pr productions, it takes a lot of time. And that takes a lot of commitment from people and a lot of dedication. So I want to make sure – Everybody gets acknowledged here. So the first person on my list here, without question, is Andy Ascalis. And if everybody's still playing that Andy Ascalis drinking game, you can take a sip now. Um, I met Andy in high school, and we were kind of like an unlikely partnership because Andy was a jazz prodigy, and I was not a jazz prodigy. Uh, but somehow I conned him to make music with me, and we still make music, and it's been over 25 years. Andy and I were always kind of like plotting and scheming on the next thing we should do, the you know, the next thing we're going to do at our next gig or the next recording project we're going to make. And you know, YouTube has been a really great forum. Uh, it's a great venue for Andy and I to do our thing because a lot of the stuff on this channel is just – you know, me and Andy messing around and trying stuff, and it's it's a great place for us to do that. I'm going to lump in stuff from the Band Geek podcast YouTube channel as well in this video just because I kind of consider them to be the same thing. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the video when I had to migrate over. I basically had a, a consultation with YouTube. YouTube was doing this program for a little while where they were reaching out to growing channels and giving them advice. And I had this lady from YouTube call me for a few weeks and she would say, oh, make sure you put this stuff in the description. Make sure you explain to your, your, your viewers what's happening. And she also suggested that I take my two channels and turn them into one channel because basically I was splitting views. So that happened years ago where we just decided to just put everything on the one channel that had the most views, which is at the point was my channel. So I'm going to be lumping all that in. But anyway, back to Andy. Um, yeah, Andy is just the best musical partner 
I could ever ask for. Aside from being super talented, he's always game for everything. He he knows how to do so many things I don't know how to do, and that I guess that makes us a good team. And uh, it's funny because the John Anderson tour that's coming up soon, you could almost say that was concocted by Andy and me sitting on a school bus together, uh, you know, with a headphone splitter listening to Close to the Edge and talking about, you know, how we would play that song live. And uh, the fact that we're going to get to play that song live with John Anderson is pretty freaking mind-blowing. And honestly, none of that happens without YouTube. So this YouTube stuff is just an extension of what Andy and I have always done together since we were teenagers. Uh, The next person I want to talk about is Amory Nascio. Now, all this YouTube stuff started when Amory and I were still together. And aside from always being incredibly encouraging of everything I was doing here, she's been the not-so-secret weapon. And, uh, you know, so obviously there's her incredible singing that everybody knows about, and that's a big draw to the videos we do. But she was always down to do anything, like play bass, do background vocals, or even dress up for a ridiculous gag. You know, we put her in a princess costume. We dressed her as one of the members of Wilson Phillips. Uh, she's an old Italian grandma in one of the videos. And Amory was always really down and was a huge part of building this channel. So thank you, Amory. And, you know, even though we're not together anymore, I'm glad that this is a place where we can still do our thing. Uh, the next person is Andy Graziano, who is also in the... I've known him since high school club, and I'm very happy to be playing with Andy Graziano and making music with him, and I'm happy that he's going to be on this this tour with it, with us. You know, When we started the Band Geek thing, Andy wasn't doing a lot of it with us, but we've kind of made him a more integral piece to uh, what we're doing, and uh, Andy's awesome, and I love playing with him. Uh, my cousin Phil, huge part of this channel. Um my cousin Phil is probably one of the most dynamic people I know. He can do anything, and he's good at everything he does. He's a better guitar player than me. He you know, has better ears than me. Uh, he's a better composer than I am. Uh, it's just everything he does, he does the best. So I'm very impressed by Phil. And my whole family, you've obviously seen on this channel, if you watch the channel, my dad's been on here a lot. He's a recurring character. My uncle Phil... So thank you very much, guys. Uh, also, got to give a shout out to Jarrett Pressman. Jarrett and I started this, you know, band geek idea together. Uh, eventually, it became uh, more band stuff and less of the geeky stuff. Uh, but you know, Jarrett is still a part of some of my favorite videos on here. You could watch the Michael McDonald uh, dueling McDonald's video, which I'm very proud of, and. Uh, our uh, Wilson Phillips video, which I'm going to reference again, which I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I love that video. <laughs> and, you know, without Jarrett, this doesn't happen. So thank you, Jarrett. Also, Brandy Metaxas, Andy's wife. Brandy, uh, Brandy kind of went from just being someone who was sitting on the stairs in the old studio to running the live streams and becoming a major personality on this channel. I love you, Brandy. And she's the best and just uh, kind of lightens all the energy, especially me and Andy are like an old married couple. We basically bicker all the time, uh, and that's our process. And having Brandy there to lift our spirits is a wonderful thing. Now, there are some guests that have been extremely helpful to growing this channel, and we could not have done this without them. And the number one person in that category for me is Emily Nascio. Emily, you're amazing. Thank you so much, Emily. Emily uh, Emily did her cover of Heaven and Hell, the Black Sabbath tune, and basically that video skyrocketed. That video went viral quickly, um, and I think it's probably going to surpass the Bohemian Rhapsody video. So, Emily, you are the best, and we hope to have Emily on the channel again, because Emily rocks. Also, Mike Torelli, uh, who sang on the Here I Go Again video. Mike's an incredibly talented guy. Check out his work. He's awesome. And I got to give a shout out to Chris Clark right now, uh, who, again, is us doing the Close to the Edge video with him. Um, you know what? Funny story I'm going to tell about Chris Clark really quick. Uh, the first time I met Chris Clark, he knew I was a Yes fan. We were doing 
a, a symphonic gig somewhere. It was on the road. And he walked on the stage, didn't say a word to me, sat down at the piano and started playing bits of every Yes and Emerson, Lake, and Palmer song he knew. And I think my first words to him were, you want to come over to my house? <laughs> and he said, yeah, sure. So now we're going to be playing that music on tour in a couple months, so it's very exciting. Also, the uh, my my Blue Oyster Cult family, who have been a huge part of this channel, uh, Buck, Eric, who were on the Band Geek, uh, the Band Geek, what was that, 50th show, the live one we did at Katie's, and also Danny and Jules. Danny's on a ton of videos here. And uh, Danny and Jules, who did uh, Shazam. It's Danny Miranda, Jules Rodino. Thank you, guys. Also, uh, Steve Lacera, Blue Oyster Cult's tour manager in front of House Guy. He's on our Owner of Lonely Heart video that just cracked a million. So thank you, Steve. And my extended BOC family, Bobby Rondinelli, Cassim Sultan, who are on, all over this channel. Thank you, guys. Uh, we had another... Uh, cool thing happened crossover thing happened uh that had a pretty good video for us which was the uh hold the line video so i got to thank joe cumia and his crew vince tatnelli and brian, brian Connolly, and also joe's brother anthony who did uh a really great version of uh, uh time of my life from dirty dancing he did a duet with amory which was really fun thank you to my to my brother hanan rubenstein hanan uh is was on the band geek live stuff uh and he also did our just the two of us video which you know people went nuts over so i love you hanan uh constantine maroulis if you've seen our covers we did with him uh the van halen right now and photograph thank you thank you constantine that was a cool little like a uh, pandemic project that we did also bumblefoot with his episode, that we got a lot of great stuff there. Uh, Jeff Scott Soto and Albert Bouchard, who were both on the live stream. And obviously, I, I have to mention the other uh, band geek musicians and guests. Uh, Vin Innocente, the uh, reigning encore champion, the man of a thousand songs. Rob Kipp, who did a lot of the prog rock stuff with us on this channel, who's also going to be on the John Anderson tour with us this spring. Matt Beck, who you've seen in a lot of the videos lately. Matt Beck's a tremendous musician. Also, uh, obviously, John Michelli, Tony Hansen, Brandon Etheridge, Jason Wexler, Julia Gargano, Annalise Scarpacci, Rob Sprantz. Thank you, Rob. Rob is uh, Rob used to be one of the uh, the founders of the Riotcast Network, and Rob has been instrumental in a lot of this stuff happening on this channel because Rob. Uh, has been the one kind of like lighting a fire under my ass a lot of the time. Rob, um, Rob was the one that made the suggestion to not just do an audio podcast, but to play music. Cause originally when Jarrett and I started the band geek podcast, uh, we didn't want to do any music. We just wanted to be people who play music talking about non-musical things that we enjoyed, like movies that we liked or, comic books or video games you know band geek that was the idea but um rob sprantz quickly explained to us how dumb that was and said if you're musicians you got to play and then quickly after that he told me if you're going to play you have to film it for youtube and put them up as youtube standalone videos and that kind of like changed the trajectory of everything just rob's uh suggestion and rob was also sort of instrumental in the tour that's happening in a few months so rob you're the greatest also got to thank my former teacher mike DeCampo, who's on our hotel california video which you can't see in certain parts of the world i don't know why but it is what it is but that also broke a million so thank you thank you sensei mike DeCampo. uh other mentions here my buddies randy jenkins al cardi tom brislin uh, Damien Scro, Rush Jones, Ray Magnuski, uh, Vicky Vett, Jelena Jensen, Angus Clark, Casey Hewler, Dennis Leaflang, Lane Thompson, Rocco Monteroso, Tino Cacciolo, Joey Martin, Nicole Hecht, Lou Manorino, Rusty Smith, Robert Edmondson, and Tom Robertson. I'm sure there's people I forgot, but these are all the people that have you know donated their time to be on the channel and really worked hard to make something and creating content. 
Not, not every video is as lazy as this one where I'm just talking in front of a camera and not editing anything. Uh, I also want to acknowledge the live stream community because uh, I really feel that the whole live stream thing helped grow this channel a lot. And I know a lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to do more live stream stuff. I definitely want to. Um, the reason I can't right at the moment is because I've cannibalized my studio for the John Anderson rehearsals, uh, which are happening in my parents' basement. Uh, and the reason it's not happening here is because I don't really have the space to set up a full drum set in here. Uh, so, and so Andy really wanted to play his real drum set. That's what he was playing on the tour. And my parents had a lot of empty space in their house. So they allowed us and then ge generously offered to, uh, have us rehearse there. So I had to move a lot of equipment over there for us to rehearse. And basically <laughs> I don't have enough cables here to do a, li a live stream, but I just ordered some more. So we're hoping to do more live streams soon because they're just too much fun. And also I like wearing my, uh, my, my dress anyway. Uh, so thank you to my parents, Gail and John Castellano for that. Um, also, I have to give a shout out to the Helix community. That's a huge part of this channel is um, sharing information about gear and music tech and kind of anything I know that I want to talk about. That's a big part. So thank you to the guys at Line 6 and thank you to the friends I've made through talking about the Helix, um, especially Steve Sterlachi, who has also been on this channel. He did the... Um, Everybody's working for the weekend cover with us. Steve's awesome. He has his own channel, and he does way more stuff than I do. He's not as lazy as I am. Steve uh, has awesome guitar-centric content on his channel, so please check out Steve Sterlachi. Give him a follow, a subscribe, and let's help grow his channel too because he works really hard and he deserves it. Also, um, Audio Technica, who is right here, who... When we started doing the uh, the podcast, um, Gary over at Audio Technica, thank you, Gary. He he said, you know what? I think you're doing something cool, and we want to help you. And he, he they sent us mics and headphones because I really I had just basically like a hodgepodge of equipment that I was grabbing from different places different types of mics and not necessarily the ideal stuff and audio technica really set us up to to be able to deliver the kind of content we do and i'm also proud to say that audio technica is going to be doing the same thing for the john anderson tour we'll be using all audio technica stuff and we're proud to be using all audio technica stuff also big shout out to roland uh you know, I'm a big Roland fan because I see a lot of people comment on the Roland drums all the time. But, uh, yeah, Roland's been great to us. So if I forgot anybody, I apologize. But I just wanted to let everybody know how grateful I am for this. And, again, I know there are more important things than YouTube subscribers. But uh, this has been an interesting journey. And uh, when I was looking uh, researching all the people who have contributed to videos, it was kind of like looking through a photo album uh, of the last 15 years, but even better because it's interactive, it's video. Uh, so it's been cool, and you know, thanks for letting me try stuff and be creative here and uh, honor my favorite musical artists and post original music and non-musical things like... I'm sure there's a bunch of lightsaber videos on this on this channel, and uh, you know, and and I really appreciate everybody just uh, hanging hanging out for the ride, and I'm very excited to see what's next, and uh, you can expect to see some content on this channel related to the John Anderson tour. So I just want to say thank you. This is really cool, and uh, I'm very grateful to everyone who has subscribed, supported, and contributed. So thank you guys.